Hey Internet, it's the fr it's the Monday show. You're watching the Philip DeFranco show, uh, brought to you by our newest sponsor, Busty YouTube Vloggers. Konnichiwa, Minasan. So, yesterday I went to the eye doctor. That's cool. Do you come to YouTube a lot? I make videos. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, you want to be a kitty cat? I mean, oh, I mean, okay. <laughs> I need to change my pants. Hello interwebs, it is Monday, January 18th, 2010, and it is a very important day. No, it's not Taco Tuesday, that's tomorrow. Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, the day where we remember civil rights pioneer Martin Luther King, who had such great quotes as, I have a dream. And of course, I want to be the white man's brother, not his brother-in-law. And to that I respond, then why are black dudes always hitting on my sister? It's actually kind of funny until you realize my sister's eight. This just got weird. But MLK Day is the day we think, black people, you're awesome. But not just black people, minorities. But the reason I talk about black people because I love black people more than white people, less than Asians. Correction, less than Asian women. But I love black people. Let's make beautiful mixed babies. All you have to do is not tell my girlfriends. It doesn't have to be like, I have to be there for the baby. I just want one DeFranco that can dance. Or possibly be president when a white president fucks up really bad. Now guys, a few of you might be laughing even though that was wrong. But you can't help it. Like there's a story in the news right now. A Swedish Weight Watchers, the floor collapsed while 20 participants were weighing in. It's sad, but it's kind of funny because that's the motivation. It's like, you guys are so fat that you destroyed a building just by existing. And of course, last night I watched the Golden Globes. How do I make that sound less gay? And there were a few things in this boring event that stood out to me. One, pointing enthusiast, Robert Downey Jr. gave the best speech ever. He just seems like a cool dude. Which once again shows us that people that used to do drugs that no longer do drugs are probably the coolest people around. People who have seen the bottom and rise to the top, not the perfect people. Two, Ricky Gervais was a hilarious bastard. Ricky's probably one of my favorite comedians around. And if you haven't checked out one of his old podcast, I'll include a link in the sidebar. And three, the dresses. And it's really just a toss-up. I mean, there's Halle Berry, whose breasts single-handedly made the movie Swordfish watchable. And my favorite person on the planet, Christina Hendricks. Oh, Christina Hendricks. I don't even like Mad Men, and I just wish that you guys won more, so you could scurry across stage like you did a few more times. When she walks, it's like watching the best parts of Baywatch. And I loved your Golden Globes. Oh, who, uh, no one made that joke except 80 times last night. But of course, one of the best things about award shows are the candid shots. But who wins the best candid shot of the Golden Globes 2010. Well, that would be Stanley Tucci. Tucci? Tucci. And that's because Stanley Tucci got caught staring at Anne Hathaway's... Yeah, I don't blame him. And guys, rather than having a douchebag of the day today, I feel we need something uplifting. And that's why today we have a BAMF of the day. Our BAMF of the day actually comes from the chaos in Haiti. An Australian cameraman. The reason being is while all the other television reporters and cameramen were getting shots of all the terrible stuff happening, this cameraman heard a baby in trouble. So rather than getting a shot like everyone else, he put down the camera, saved the girl, which was recorded by another station, and he had to apologize to his station for not getting the shot. And I just have to say bravo to that man. We need more people like you. And that is why you you are our BAMF of the day. And that's gonna kinda lead us into today's question of the day. And it's that old question, if your house was on fire and you could only save your parents, your significant other, or your child, who would you save? And you could only save one, who would you save and why? But guys, that's really all that mattered to me this Monday. If you wanna check out any of the stories, photo galleries, or even the vlog that I made, check out those links in the sidebar. But guys, like I said, that's really all that mattered to me this Monday. My name's Philip DeFranco, and you've just been filled in.